Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we are back with another graphical improvements video for Yuzu Emulator and Super Mario Odyssey. So for anybody experienced in Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch, you can see that I am indeed in Ruined Kingdom. Now, while yes, the graphics are very dark right now, you can semi-fix this by coming to configure you want to come to graphics and you want to turn on use accurate frame buffers click ok and you can see in the bottom right hand corner that even though yes our lighting is fixed you are getting lower performance you can just come straight away come back to configure graphics turn this off click ok and your performance will shoot straight back up and you will maintain this fixed lighting now i'm not sure if this is a bug and i'm not sure if this works for everyone but Try it out and see how it works for yourself. Now when we come up here, you should, there should be, uh, these torches here should be lit. You can see that there is some kind of lighting around them, but they are not currently working. So what I want to do is I want to throw Cappy at this electric conduit, or I'm not exactly sure what they're called to be honest, I just call them conduits. And we want to come up to this top area. Now you can see that when we did this for the very first time on this older canary build, that we got loads of lag. And when we get up to this top area, even though our lighting is better than it previously would have been without this uh, frame buffer fix that I just showed you a few seconds ago, uh, it's still quite dark. Now you can see Peach over here in her usual holiday attire. But what I now want to do is I am going to close this canary version. So I'm going to come to emulation, stop and close this version of Yuzu. The version we were using is 1062, the one I showed in my last video. And we are now going to take a look at this newer version, 1083. So once again, I'm going to just scroll down my games list and find Super Mario Odyssey and just boot it. And here we are, we're back in our continue screen, our title menu, or whatever you like to call it. So let's come to options, data management, load, and we're going to load straight back into Ruined Kingdom. Now, before we load in, I'm just going to make sure that I am not using the accurate frame buffer stuff, because if you have this on when you load into game sometimes, it just completely freaks my performance out. So I like to make sure that when I boot the emulator, it is set to off, and then I turn it on once I get into gameplay. So here we are back in gameplay. And I'm going to once again come to emulation, configure, graphics, turn this on and hit OK. And there you go. You can already see the massive improvements they have made to texture quality and lighting, especially in this darker level. So as before, I'm going to come back to configure now, graphics, and turn off accurate frame buffers. And you're going to see my performance is going to skyrocket back up to the mid to high 40s to mid to low 50s. And you can see that when we're running around this area, in comparison to what we were previously seeing in the last Canary build, it is so much better and everything is rendered so much better than we were ever seeing before. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come back up to the exact same area. And you can see that this time, in this Canary build, they have fixed the lighting so much that these torches are now completely lit. So as I did before, I'm going to jump onto this conduit, capture it, and we're going to jump up to the area where Peach is located. And as is very clear when we arrive, render quality has drastically improved in these darker areas in Super Mario Odyssey. So in the next day or so, I'm going to be covering a variety of other kingdoms that were previously rendered very poorly in Super Mario Odyssey. As well as that, I'm going to be covering tons of other 2D and 3D games on this emulator. If you have any games that you want to see tested, let me know down in the comment section of this video. Once again, guys, cheers for checking out this video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.